All right, what's going on guys? If you guys are subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, and I think hopefully we're at 19K by the time this video comes out. If it doesn't, then oh well, well we're almost there. But uh, in the last video, I did state that I bought some spoon parts that I really wanted for a long time, and finally with this hatch, I could do, you know, pretty much like what I want to do to it, have a like nice clean street car, and then later on build a track car, uh, which we'll get into later on in the future. But today, this is what we're gonna be unboxing. Most of you guys already know partly what this is, if you guys are spoon heads. These, of course, are spoon twin block calipers that I ordered from Nima's Garage. So thank you very much, Joe, over there for giving me a good deal on these. And these are brand new in box. Um, this shipping kind of got messed up when they delivered to my house. But uh, we're gonna crack these open and uh, yeah, show you guys. So, I've always wanted a set of these, but finally it's the time. Oh shit. And I'm gonna have a full install video on these. I cannot use my current rotors, which are 10 inch. I have to upgrade to the Mini Cooper ones, the 11 inch. And first thing you get, instructions, Japanese instructions. Uh, this is how to bleed it, which, which uh, you start on the outside, then move to the inside. And the hardware and the washers for the calipers. All right, so there's two of them in here, but I'm gonna take one out. If I can even open it. All right. The best thing that I've ever wanted are spoon calipers. This is one of the things that I've always wanted and very, very happy to finally have a set of these. These are the twin block ones. If you get the mono block, the mono blocks are for like R sexes and uh, SC thousand. Twin block is for the Integra Type R's and the EK nines, which work on my current spindles, the EX ones. And holy moly, they look nice. Now the benefit about these ones too is you can actually use OEM style pads. That's actually one reason why I bought these calipers. The Wilwood calipers, you have to stick with Wilwood brake pads only, like BP10s, BP20s, I have BP20s right now in the Wilwoods. But these ones, you can use OEM style pads. And uh, I'm gonna be using the Mini Cooper rotors because this, um, you have to use a bigger rotor. I'm currently using a 10 inch on mine with the Wilwoods. So we're upgrading to the 11 inch with these Mini Cooper rotors, uh, 2007 Type S, which is the 4x100, and they are hub uh, centric or the correct hub size to the Honda rotors. So I need to go pick up a set of rotors right now, and yeah, we're gonna get to install these. Very, very easy install. I just have to get those rotors and everything. So yeah, I've always, like I said, I've always wanted a set of these, and it's finally that time where I have this car, I just wanna have a clean street build, so I'm gonna have these. And they are ginormous compared to the Wilwoods. The Wilwoods are like this small, literally. All right, so I am back from O'Reilly's and I picked up some 2007 Mini Cooper rotors. It doesn't matter if it's an S or a base model. And I think it goes all the way to 2010 for four lug. The main thing they should, matter, they should worry about is the hub on the rotor itself. Here is my 10 inch uh, EX rotor and my 11 inch Mini Cooper rotors now. And I have this digital gauge right here. So this right here is 64 point, it should be 64.1, but I think cause it's a bit rusty. I'm gonna bring this over, 64.1. So not the exact on this cause I'm not doing it right. But this is a 10 inch, this is a 11 inch. And in order for you guys to run spoon calipers in a car, you will need EX spindles. So pretty much Civic SI or EX spindles and also I think ITR spindles work or GSR. So if your car uses a factory 10 inch or a 262 millimeter rotor, then these calipers will work. It'll be direct bolt on with the Mini Cooper rotors. And currently these are 262, or also known as 10 inch rotors with the wheel wheel calipers. And then for the spoon calipers, we're gonna be using the 11 inch, which is a 280 millimeter uh, rotor with the caliper itself. So we will get to installing these once my brake pads come in. I did order uh, EBC Green Stuff brake pads for these. 
And for these calipers, you have to use, um, what is it, EK9 or DC2 uh, GSR uh, brake pads. So I just ordered some EBC ones off of eBay. They're about roughly like 90 bucks, which is the cheapest place I could find them and the fastest I get them. But guarantee next video we will be installing these. Um, so hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to see the install on these calipers. And while he's chill here, I did get uh, packages in the mail from a couple of people. So one is, this is new on the channel, C's Customizing. Now this guy, I've been following this dude's build for a long time. I posted photos as I talked. This car was actually the first ever built that I've seen on Android P uh, for life. The forms, if you guys don't know, uh, but the forms don't work anymore. But his was actually the first build that I've seen from page one all the way to, I do not know how many pages. I went from page one, went to page two, three, four, five, and he had like almost like, I don't know, it's been a while, like four or 500 pages on a forum thread. And just to see his build from when he got it to restoring the whole car and that was the only car I've actually like seen a complete builder and read every single post he posted. And it's crazy how he has his own company now of restoring stuff. You guys should check out his Instagram and his, I think he has a site, but his site's not working right now. He's working on it, but I dropped his uh, website and his Instagram down below. And he sent me some of his products that he uh, pretty much had. And I did uh, meet him for the first time at the Chronicles meet uh, last year, 2017 in November. And it was nice meeting you and thank you for sending me out the care package. And uh, we're gonna open it and see what it is. I'm scared of opening these types of packages because they're so like compressed. So I don't even know what's even like where to even cut. Oh, sick. Okay. Oh, whoa. All right. He cooked it up fast. All right. So first of all, we have this logo C's. Um, I don't know how he came with this, but it's probably from um, his Instagram name, Koopa Skip. Or, I, I actually don't know, but thank you very much. And I got more in here, holy crap. Oh man, look at that. I'm gonna slap one of these on my laptop for sure. Been a huge fan of your build, buddy. Um, and I think I told you that many times. Oh, sick right here. I might replace my spoon ones with these ones. Um, I'm actually gonna change it up. I know I have a lot of spoon parts on my car, but I kind of want to mix it up. So stay tuned for that. I'm not trying to do like a full spoon bill. I mean, I do have the spoon wing, spoon lip, and now spoon calipers, and a lot of other spoon stuff, but I want to switch it up. Oh, and he sent me some white ones. So, white ones and some red ones. Sick, I'm gonna be replacing mine uh, part right after I finish this video. Thank you very much, buddy. Oh, wow. So, I was, I was saying how I met him at the Chronicles year and I meet. Tommy, nice meeting you this past year on year nine. Hope you enjoy the reservoir covers. Appreciate the support, Coop. So, don't worry, buddy. I stopped them on my car. Huge, huge, huge shout out to this guy. Check out his Instagram, and I'll link both his Instagrams down below. He restores a lot of like rare stuff, and he has a lot of rare stuff for sale too. So check out his uh, Instagram, and yeah, just tell him that a lot of Tommy lost sent you there, or I don't know. It's up to you guys. I don't know what you guys want to do. That's out of the way. I'll put those on my car in a bit. Also, um, where did I put it? Now, if you guys have been watching my videos, I did say that I'm gonna change out the fittings on my valve cover for my cash can and also the radiator um, fitting. So I got a dash 16, the 90 degree bend, and I got a bunch of, well, got, was it, two 90 degree dash 10s and two 90, or two 45 degrees dash 10 for my catch can and thank you JB Tune for the fittings what the hell thank you JB Tune for the fittings I'm gonna be running a new catch can setup with um, the car so I will have a video on that too I'm actually telling my speed factory catch can to a good friend of mine and gonna be running the vibrant performance catch can and I will show you guys that when I get it and install it for you guys so I do have a lot of install videos coming up and yeah you just have to stay tuned and See it and thank you for all the love guys. The channel been growing really good and <clears throat> sorry my voice sound rest, yeah, sore throat. There we go. I decided to put the red ones on. Hmm, I might switch over to the white ones, but oh well, I actually like it a lot better and they actually feel more snug than my spoon ones that I actually bought. 
from uh, go to me but I mean it's whatever it's reservoir socks so we are back at this spot and uh, I'm making this or answering this question because I can't really install my spoon calipers I don't have my brake pads yet so just like a waiting game for the brake pads to come in and hopefully they come in on time when I want to make the video but if anything uh, we'll see what happens so a lot of people like seeing me make videos of like um, I guess my own opinion and stuff and I'm just well and this one is going to be me answering uh, when will I bring or when will I be back at the track making track videos again now I actually have track videos uh, on this channel but it's like pretty damn old it's like a year ago before I actually started the channel I was actually going to the track a lot spending a lot of money and going to the track I actually spend a lot because uh, we have to drive three hours up get a motel and beat the shit out of our car the next day drive three hours back home and you know, it's like a toll on us. This car, I'm actually going to be taking it back in September uh, with Renato stuff, with the ITB setup and everything. But I'm only going to be doing one track event with this car and after that, that's it. I kind of didn't want to go to the track with this car because it's hard finding a clean hatch shell over here in California for like a reasonable price. And due to this paint and everything and yada yada yada, I know a lot of you guys would be like, why being a little, you know, a little bitch? Why aren't you tracking a car? Now, I could care less about what people say, but I just always wanted to build a nice clean show car or a nice clean street build, which is this car. You know, I drive this car a lot. I love this car. I enjoy the money I put into this, uh, hence the spoon calipers. Yeah, I just don't want nothing bad to happen to it. So this is pretty much like the show car of my channel. This is the car that people come to my channel to look for, to look forward to and everything. And then I'm actually gonna be picking up a new car, a new track car I mean, in the next following months. So I'm gonna have a full track build on this channel, so stay tuned for that, where I'm gonna be going back to Feed Tech Club. If I can find a shell for cheap, then I buy the shell, a clean shell. But if I can't, then I find a running car and leave the seal cam in it and just run it at Group N2 at Feed Tech Club, which is what I used to do. And honestly, I wanna leave the seal cam in there because I'm not that good of a driver. I've been through track a lot, but I'm not that good of a driver in order for me to like have fun with this motor. Because the thing is, like at the track, I feel like I would do a lot better with a single cam because a single cam has less power and you could, um, you learn a lot more from the single cam. Because I remember my first track event was like three years ago where I had everything. I had sway bars, I had strut bars, I had stiff suspension. And I thought I had good tires. Next to the like, first event I ever went to was in, <laughs> it was a learning experience. So as time went on and I kept going through track and track and track, I started moving my strut bars, started softening out my suspension started getting better tires and the car feels way better. You slowly start learning after you go to the track a couple of times. But after you keep going to the track a lot, you slowly realize that your car doesn't need this, your car doesn't need that, your car needs this, your car needs that. And yeah, so you work around, you learn, and, and I've, I've grown to knowing single cams a lot more on the track. On a single hand, you just floor through all the turns. On a B-series, it's a different story. So having this more is like a different learning experience. If I go back to the track with the same exact suspension setup, but with this motor in my car, it's not gonna be the same. Um, so that's why I might, I might pick up another project car and just leave the single cam in it, take it like that to the track. If it blows up, then that's when we'll start a new motor build, which I already told a couple people what motor I wanna do. And it is the B16B. I really want a B16B, I really wanna build a B16B. So B16B will probably be the next swap for that track car. This car right here will be like, driving around town and everything. But yeah, hopefully that makes any sense. I, uh, I just want to keep this car, you know, I just want to put money to this car. I want to have a nice clean street slash show slash this nice car to cruise in, you know, with the homies and everything, take photos. And then I want to have a busted ass track car, whatever, I don't care. Because this coupe that I had before this car, when I ruined the frame and everything at the track and everything, I just like, I couldn't care less about it anymore. I was like, man, fucked it up, you know, I did all this. So that's why I just didn't watch that car or care too much about it besides it running good. And now since I have this car, I care about every little thing, like the paint, yeah, just every little thing on it. That's one reason why I'll be picking up a new track car. So stay tuned for the videos. Um, not sure when, but also in around May, the third week of May, I'm actually gonna be heading back to Japan. Now I'm going to Japan because I just love it. But I'm actually going back this time with my sister and my brother, so 
uh, we're we'll be doing more tourist stuff, but I probably will rent a car out there and go to shops again, visit Spoon again and everything. So yeah, so I'm gonna be heading to Japan this year. I'm gonna be picking up a new project car, uh, track car, and stay tuned for that. Um, this car will just be a very clean hatch. Um, yeah, so hopefully they answer those questions. And just to get straight to the point, I want a track car. I'm gonna build another track car because I want to keep this car clean. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to have to put more money to buy another shell because that's just more money. So I'm gonna pick up a new track car or a shell to beat up and not care too much about besides the suspension and the motor. All right. Hopefully I answered questions for you guys. So if that made any sense, that is it for this video and but stay tuned for these bad boys to go on. Very excited to install them. So peace out guys and hopefully that answers your questions.